Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short and practical video, I will guide you for basic information related RCC slab steel reinforcement design. As you can see guys, this is RCC slab which covered area is 8000 square feet, okay? Let me show you the covered area for this construction. This is covered area, RCC slab which is 8,000 square feet, okay? So now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details. If you see guys here, we have main bars and distribution bars. The spacing is six by seven inches. And we used here 10 millimeter of steel rods, okay? You can see main bars and distribution bars, dia is 12 millimeter, okay? Now let me guide you why we use 12 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter die of steel rod? Because it's depend on the structure analysis, okay? Structure load. So now let me show you for extra steel rods. What is extra steel rods? Guys, you can see in this RCC slab, you can see these are extra steel rods because this is the other mesh on the top of this. Look at here, this is extra steel rod. You can see on both sides, okay? Which length is 10 feet, okay? Five feet from that center line of the beam to this side left side and on the right side also we have five feet okay so this is total 10 feet okay from this center line now guys the dia is here 12 millimeter okay and the spacing is here seven by seven inches for this extra steel rods okay but if you see for this rcc slip the dia is six by seven inches we used here 10 millimeter die of steel rod okay so why we are providing extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment here we have more chances of cracks to resist cracks we are providing extra steel rods so this is very important to know about extra steel rods okay we used here 40 grade steel rods and 60 grade steel rods for this construction and this is six story commercial building okay guys if if you see this is plain uh, this is top beam or floor beam inside you can see the steel reinforcement i will guide you in next video especially for steel reinforcement if you see the column the size of this column is 24 by 24 inches inside we have 16 numbers of steel rods eight numbers of steel rods dia is 25 mm and uh, the eight numbers uh, dia is 16 millimeter okay you can see and here we will use m20 grade concrete which uh, ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 okay so here guys you can see these are the steel reinforcement Look at here in this beam we have extra steel rods also as you can see these are extra steel rods on the top of this floor beam but inside floor beam also we can see they used here 25 millimeter die of steel rod for extra at the distance of l by 3 okay l by 3 and l by 4 it's depend on the uh, span of beam okay so, so so sometime if we have the span more than 22 feet so there we are using l by 3 if we have up to 20 uh, 20 to 20 uh, 22 feet so we are using l by 4 okay look at here guys you can see the shuttering okay the plastering tape has been provided on the gap between the uh, shuttering okay you can see and already they used the oil on the surface of the shuttering to make it clean let me show you guys uh, uh, we don't have the uh, uh, concrete cover which is about one inch or 25 mm so you can see these are the marbles okay so this is okay so this is half inch so now it will be one inch okay so therefore you can see they will use it here uh, like uh, let me show you already they placed or not so let me show you already they placed there you can see the concrete cover already they placed here in this panel okay look at here this is concrete cover the labor is working providing the extra steel rods which dia is 12 millimeter and cutting length of this extra steel rod is 10 feet Look at here. Here guys you can see the spacing is 5 by 5 inches. Actually it's depend on the structure load. But let me show you here. 
we have here seven by seven inches okay Allah okay guys so this is a short video to guide you for basic informations about rcc slave design thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye